shock claim Charles and Camilla moving to Italy. A newly resurfaced interview has blown the lid off of Prince Charles' secret plan to leave the UK, paying the way for his son, Prince William, to take the throne. According to a 1995 article in US magazine Newsweek, it's revealed that Princess Diana was convinced her ex-husband and his mistress, Camilla Pacabos, were planning a move abroad. If she could write her own script, the princess would like Charles to go off with Camilla and fulfill his private ambitions of owning a farm in Tuscany, leaving Diana to groom William for the throne, says the publication's source. She believes, and her personal astrologers agree, that Charles will never become king and that William is the one who will succeed Queen Elizabeth after her death. A source tells new idea. This is absolutely not out of the realm of possibility for Charles. He is becoming increasingly frustrated by being the longest serving king in waiting in history and is rather hoping to relax in his twilight years. As the years have gone by, he's become even more obsessed with his gardening and Tuscany would sound excellent to him right now. There would be very little guilt for Charles as William and Catherine have proved time and time again they are ready to step up, the insider added. The royal revelation comes after Charles seemingly defied the Queen with his latest message. Prince Charles has reportedly been instructed by the firm to put an end to his climate change activism when he eventually takes the throne. But speaking from his Burkle home on the Bomoro estate in Scotland, the Prince of Will recently delivered the keynote speech to mark the start of Climate Week NYC. With our swift and immediate action, an unprecedented pace and skill, we will miss the window of opportunity to reset to a, for a more sustainable and inclusive future, Charles began. He continued, The environment crisis has been with us for far too many years, decried, denigrated, and denied. It is now becoming a comprehensive catastrophe that will draft the impact of the coronavirus pandemic. The global pandemic is a wake-up call we simply cannot afford to ignore, he said.